Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review the latest and stable build of oxygen os 13 for the oneplus 8 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started OnePlus has started rolling out the stable update of Oxygen OS 13 for the OnePlus 8 series devices. As you can see, I have installed it on my OnePlus 8T and if I go into the about info section, the build number is F.13 which means Oxygen OS 13 is stable and the Android security patch is now 5th October 2022. Also please note that the Oxygen OS 13 is going to be the last official Android update for the OnePlus 8 series devices. Now coming to the installation method, I received this update via an OTA. If anyone of you didn't receive this update yet and Wish to install this? I'll give the full zip in the description below. Download the Oxygen OS 13 full zip and place it in the root directory of your internal storage. Now go to About Info section and tap the build number seven times. Next, tap on the OnePlus icon, tap on the menu button, and select Local Install. And just click on the Oxygen OS 13 stable build file that you placed in the internal storage. This is going to install Oxygen OS 13 stable on your OnePlus 8 series device. Also, please make sure that you are either on Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 1 or Oxygen OS 12.1 C. 35 or C.36 or else this method is not going to work. Now let's run some benchmarks on this build. In Geekbench the device scored 907 in single core and 3099 in multi core. Note that these scores are without the high performance mode. With high performance mode turned on, the device scored 903 in single core and 3134 in multi core. Even in high performance mode we didn't see any major changes. In CPU throttling test the CPU throttled up to 95% of its capacity without any dips in the graph and from the initial looks the benchmark scores look fine and i'll use this build for a week and will share more details about the performance in the full review video now let's talk about what's new has been added by oneplus in this build starting from the lock screen oneplus has added the circular background in the below camera and google icon this does follow a consistent design theme but it is not that big of a change next in the quick setting styles menu oneplus has fixed the jitter issue which used to happen while scrolling down the notification panel i sometimes used to face that problem but after updating to later stable oxynos 13 build it is working perfectly perfectly fine also the quick setting tiles are now little bigger than the previous one and both tiles on the top are now horizontally placed and if you are playing some music it will switch to vertical mode and the media player option tile will also come next change is regarding the launcher now we have the solid background in the app dot like oxynos 12 previously it was transparent in the oxynos 13 beta builds i personally like the solid background to be honest moving on to the camera part i didn't feel any changes in the camera and it is clicking almost the same quality of pictures as before comment down if you you find any changes regarding the same if you talk about the battery backup the battery backup feels quite the same on average you will get 5 to 6 hours of screen on time without much gaming so those were the major changes in oxynos 13 stable build but i feel the system stability and performance is now finally improving and we're eagerly waiting for the stable update of oxynos 13 can now install it without any issues as i have not faced any major bugs on oxynos 13 stable build that's all for this video comment down if you want a full installation video of the stable build of oxynos 13 and what all you want to see in the full review video subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching